what women need to know is you um at the end of the day you have you so yeah. You do True. you, yes, and then whoever you're going to be going out with or yeah. dating should be able to mm. accept you as mm. you are. Mm. So let's say I like wearing weave-ons and all that. Of course, I will not go out with a man yes. who loves natural hair. I, yeah. I won't keep my natural hair, and I'm not going to change that because at the Absolutely end of the day, not. I'm not going to change my hair mm. for the man. An and incident actually happened to me. Mm -hmm. I was in a uh, matatu in the public uh, buses, mm -hmm. and there was a hook on the door. I don't. Oh. For what reason? Oh, so as I'm oh. getting into the bus, I can't my even look wig at you when you tell this story. Get, like, gets stuck on the hook oh, no. and you know because you have to walk fast the car is moving this is kenya and as i'm going to you my left your hand behind <laughs> you know i've actually watched uh, uh, this actually happened to a moment it was also, it was also in the matash with the smaller the smaller uh, mini uh, vans one that hold 14 uh, people yeah and then instead of you know because it's an older vehicle so they have like where the light used to be but then it's just like wires now okay. uh -huh. so she was disembarking like she left her wig behind <laughs> and she had like what we call matutas. I don't okay, know what to call yeah, them yeah, in yeah. English. What do you call them? Um, um, Babantu, like, fat, like chunky plaits. Uh, yeah, yeah, chunky yeah, plaits. Yeah. Plaits, like the ones us black women <laughs> yeah, yeah. do to when bed. Oh, okay. to sleep. To bed, yeah. yeah, so she had those. Mm. Underneath, and now the conductor laughed and told her, like, oh, yeah. Madam, here is your hair. And then, oh, you know, no, none of us wanted oh, to laugh out loud, no. but you just see shoulders. But, you have, yeah. <laughs> but then you see, Felicia, I wanted to know, you said that you've never had an incident. She doesn't but believe you, but she's like, There is what that happens to all of us when you're sleeping or when you're sitting on a, on, on a chair. <laughs> I, 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 I am off. an expert at keeping my wig on. <laughs> <laughs> secure the wig okay if i'm a, uh, if i'm on a motorbike uh, really i'm going to be like yes. this <laughs> and going that's what i'm going to do secondly um with the wig caps there are various sizes there's mm. medium small large and all that so your your beautician will mm. look at your head with me with a big head they'll get me one that will fit exactly i will be tight but, enough but, uh, <laughs> black consumers spend up to six times more than their white counterparts when it comes to hair care the implications of how we african women wear our hair and the meanings attached to whatever styles we rock have elicited debate all over the world okay Let's start by looking at our own hair stories growing up. Let's start with you, my West African sister, Felicia. Tell us your story. I love short hair because um, growing up, um, I have this uh, type 4C hair, very okay. kinky, very hard like plastic. That's what <laughs> hey, my mom used to say. Willow parts. <laughs> yes, horrible. So anytime they have to braid my hair, I used to cry and all that. Oh, and when hey. I had the opportunity to cut my hair, I cut it all off. Okay. Yes. And I, I, I would just rock my short hair. Mm -hmm. And I love it. And then but people along the are line, confused because short hair can be quite high maintenance, right? Short hair is very high maintenance. Yeah, right. It's expensive to keep. You have to keep going to the salon mm. and then you keep applying heat. So with time, you may um, you lose, some lose of your hair. Your yeah. hair. Yeah. So sure. it's something you can do long term. For short term, sure. it's advisable, but not long term. Really? Uh, All right. Foncina, yes. what hairstyles have you rocked growing up? Let's have a look. Mm. Mm. Yes, girl. <laughs> this was when I was 18. I was really well, into the side shave. Yeah. And I must admit, my parents had a hard time that year. Really? Mm. I, can yeah. only I just really? came home and I shaved the side of my head. Oh, no. Wow. Especially, I can imagine your mom is just like, what happened to my daughter? <laughs> she called me. We, we had a Skype phone call. She was like, what did you do? I was like, I'm having fun. And then she said, hmm, okay. <laughs> wow. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, this is me with my short hair. It's yeah. actually the hair I have at the moment uh, when I take off this wig. Okay, and, lovely. Uh, do you feel more exposed? Because you wear a lot of wigs. Do you feel more exposed when you're just kind of completely bare like that? I actually feel more beautiful with my short hair, oh, but my it. hair depends on my personality. Today I'm feeling wow. this. Yeah. Flirty. Yes. Flirty. <laughs> have you always had dreadlocks like yeah. your entire life? No, those other things happening. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, um, oh, I'm look, so excited. I was so thin. Oh my god, oh. Let, let's not even focus. I had uh, this is when I had relaxed hair, and then I used to do like cornrows, like in between. Nice. Okay, when you because you're a broke college student, of course, yes. and you can't afford to keep going for a retouch. And oh. you felt so, like a rock star, and I felt like such a rock star. <laughs> this was, I think, Ooh. a couple of months this is ago. Beautiful. This is I was serving, 
Yeah, yeah. you were serving everything, girl. Yes. Everything. That's yeah. not just a snack. I have to say that this is <laughs> my dreadlocks. This was like a few years ago, and I colored my dreadlocks, but I had to stop because it started get, like breaking off at the tips a bit. Mm. Oh, it does. So, yeah, actually, yeah. I want to ask you because I see so many people with dreads who mm. rock blonde dreads as if it doesn't affect their hair. Is that it a myth? It does. I think there's only one person left. I think. Who is it? Oh no! Okay. Let's see what you know we what, have. guys? Just, just be kind, okay? We just shall. be okay. kind. Okay. Yeah. Try. We'll so try. let's see mine. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I love this. this. Yeah, this cool with this. I was doing a hair campaign, and, and all this just, is your hair. That's all mine, girl. Girl, girl just, okay. Yeah. That was just yeah, and and mm. I so with this because I do so much uh, fitness stuff. Mm. Often my hair has to be up. Right. And I try really hard not to use too much gel because I don't want to lose my edges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that. This, oh, is, love that. this, this is, is so beautiful. Fresh out of the shower. Oh, you um, my happy. hair. I am happy when I've showered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I, oh, and, I love oh that gosh. one. Okay, I guys, love I know that there's picture. one picture left. Oh, gosh. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's your favorite. My favorite. This is the part of my life Innocent that I. Looking. It's like mafia. Like, bury those files really, really deep down. <laughs> Don't let anyone Don't find let it. Don't let anyone find it. Okay, so this was because I, I never necessarily wanted to relax my hair, but my mum didn't really know much about Afro hair when I was yes. growing up. Actually, the funny thing is we had a white neighbour and the white neighbour was married to a Jamaican man. So my mum used to go to her to learn how to cane row and stuff okay. like that. As oh, you can so imagine, it. it was painful. Yeah, um, it so I just relaxed my hair because yeah. I didn't really know what else to do. And then when the natural movement started coming in, I was just like, okay. I'm going to jump on this train. Mm. And yeah, I've never, I've never really looked back.